Hello, everyone. Oh, my necklace is crooked. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I wanted to do this scope before Black Friday because I know a lot of the sales are coming out. I'm a little bummed, though, that my Evermore is arriving a day late, so um, I won't be able to share that with you. It was, I was hoping it would be here today, but it's not, and I don't want to wait any longer um, because Black Friday is coming, and I won't be scoping tomorrow. I know, it is sad. It's the rose gold one, though, too. Hi, Mary. Hi, dear Kate Seniors. I feel like I have to sneeze, but it's like right there and it's not coming out. So if I like stop in the middle of a word to sneeze, I apologize. <laughs> Epiphany is on sale now. Thank you for the hearts. Um, Epiphany is on sale right now. They have $50 off any bag. So, and right now my current favorite, actually I forgot to grab that one because I'm using it all the time, is an Epiphany bag. So I have a few Epiphany bags, actually I have two Epiphany bags. Um, hello, Dee. What's up? <laughs> Thank you for the hearts. They're all pretty. I wish they would come out with turkey hearts like they had bat hearts for um, Halloween. No, it's not 50%. That would be amazing. No, it's $50 off any bag. So it depends on the bag that you get. But their new leather ones, I believe, are about $200. Um, so it'd be $150 instead of $200, which is still awesome because I paid full price for mine. So... Then you get a deal. So welcome everyone and Kara. Um, anyone who wants to know a little bit about these bags. I have a slight camera bag addiction. Someone was actually uh, teasing me. One of my clients went into my office, which is typically a disaster area. And he was teasing me about my bags. And I told him it's just because he's a guy and he doesn't understand. So, because <laughs> guys don't get it. We need bags for different things. Every bag has a different purpose. So I am going to show you a few of my bags. So I'm going to flip the camera around. I did grab my rolling bags as well. And I'm going to start with Think Tank because Think Tank is one of my favorites. I don't like their shoulder bags, but to be fair, I haven't tried their new female shoulder bags. Um, I've only done the rolly bags. So if you guys are interested in finding out a little bit about, about these camera bags, we're going to kind of go through them in just a sec. But if you want to share with your followers, your friends, someone you know might be interested in this, you can swipe right, swipe up, swipe, I, I'm i sorry, I don't remember. Swipe down, something like that. But you can actually hit the share button and share it on Facebook or Twitter. And then other people can read about this too, especially right before Black Friday. Hi, Eva. Sorry, I talk fast. I'll try and go slow. So I'm gonna flip the camera around Hey, Nicole. Hey, everyone. I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see all the different bags. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Studio. It's kind of all uh, put together right now because I wasn't shooting today. But you can see kind of what it looks like. And I put some of the bags onto Francesca. <laughs> but I am going to flip the camera so I can actually show you that stuff because it's a little weird doing it backwards. Okay, here we go. So here's the studio, because someone had mentioned it, with the chandelier that my dad hung for me. Yes, studio, I love. Thank you. We have the full beams up on the top, which have been used for some very fun things. <laughs> the mirror, the bed, the futons, the clothes, the um, Lingerie, I have some new pieces that I have not scoped about yet. They're beautiful. I have the screen, the softbox. I have dress forms, um, fans, lights, the dog bed for when my dog visits <laughs> because she likes to come to the studio as well. So let's start talking about the bags. I'm going to sit on my uh, cool little stool that I used to roll around the studio in. So this first one I got before I shot my first wedding. Yes, I do primarily boudoir, Bella Rosa. So I do about 95% boudoir. Um, I do weddings for some select people, but I also do headshots. I work primarily with women. So whether they're clothed or not, I love working with women. So this first bag is the Think Tank, Think Tank Airport Security 2.0, I believe. And let me open it up. Ah. 
<laughs> Jamie, Devin says hi. Hi. <laughs> so this was the first bag that I got uh, before I shot my first wedding. I am on Instagram. I'm Brooke S. Photo, all one word. So this bag in particular has been with me, gosh, so many places. I really, really, really love this bag. My only complaint with it, and the reason I have the second really bag, is that it doesn't have the 360 wheels. So I have been rather spoiled with my luggage lately in having those 360 wheels. So this one does not have that, but it is definitely a workhorse of a bag. They have an amazing warranty, and Think Tank has amazing customer service as well. So this is a rolling bag. You can see I use it for storage as well because it makes things really, really easy to move. So we keep some things in there, um, camera bodies, flashes, lenses, all sorts of stuff. It also makes it really easy to find stuff just to kind of keep it together. It protects it. And then when I need to take gear somewhere, it's very, very easy to just grab it and go. So this is a bag. It's kind of a little different from the others that I'm going to show you and that it's not really a shoulder bag, but it has this cool thingy. It also has the serial number and the case on the back. And then, so this is a super cool feature. I've never used it, but knowing that it's there gives my husband peace of mind when he's carrying it. These are backpack handles that you can pull out so that if you're like last getting on a plane and you know that the overhead space is gonna suck, you can pull these out and put it on as a backpack because you're less likely to get asked to put your bag under the plane if it's on your back. Kinda weird, but true. So you can attach those down on this little hook down here and kinda turn it into a backpack, which is super nice. It has the lock here. And then we have all of the pockets on the front. And overall, I just really, really love this bag. I looked at a few different options when I was looking at rolling bags, and this is by far my favorite. So it has a little pocket that you can put tripods into or light stands. And then it also has little things, little straps that aren't on here right now, but you can wrap them around so you can carry them with you. Here's another little pocket, again, with a strap that you can add on for those light stands and the tripods. It is just such a super cool, really functional bag. I've had it for five years now, um, and it's amazing. I mean, it still works like it's brand new. There's, I have zero complaints about how it rolls, which a lot of times with luggage, like this handle is the first thing to really kind of give out, but this thing is amazing. They're expensive. I think this one was like 400 bucks, but so, so worth it. This is an amazing bag. Moving on to my other rolly, the only reason I got this other one is because of the 360 wheels. So with the standard bags, if you're familiar with luggage, you have to kind of tilt it back to move it. So when you pull this up and you tilt it, that's how you pull it. And it only goes one way and you have to kind of turn it. I've gotten kind of spoiled with my luggage lately. And I really, really love the 360 wheels. Do you guys have the 360 wheels on any of your luggage? It is amazing. If you haven't tried those, it gets really addictive because you can just pull the handle up and walk. You don't even have to tilt it because it goes wherever you want. So this one actually has a lot of the same features. You can see it's a little smaller, which is significant because of carry-on restrictions with airlines. But um, it's just slightly smaller, and those 360 wheels are so worth it. So the lock is in here. The rolling bags always come with the lock. And there's another side pocket here. This kind of opens on the top. And then we have those straps again for tripods, for light stands, stuff like that. So this bag actually opens to the side. So if you're gonna buy this bag, um, I would recommend getting it from Think Tank directly 
The only reason for that is they have amazing customer service. And when my first bag arrived, um, the lock wasn't working properly and they just sent me a new one like the next day. They're so fast and really good service is important to me. So I tend to buy directly from the company when possible just so that I can deal with them directly and not have to deal with sellers and stuff like that. So this is the inside. Now the thing that's nice about this bag too is that it actually is made to fit a laptop as well. So it opens from the side, whereas the other one opens vertically. Sorry, trying to do this with two hands, with one hand. So this one is meant to hold a laptop and a tablet too. So it has a laptop po pocket. I have a 15 inch, I'm a PC girl. Woo! I know everyone freaks out when I say that. So it's meant to hold a laptop. And then this is part is meant to hold a tablet. It is wonderful. I have taken it on two trips now. This one is newer, um, but I really, really love this bag. Think Tank just has amazing bags. I mean, they're really well made. They're super high quality and their uh, customer service is amazing. So I really, really recommend these bags. I have not tried their shoulder bags. I'm really excited to see one that we're going to have at a party coming up. Um, but right now I have their rollies and I love, love, love them. So those are my rolling bags. And I did a lot of research with the Think Tank, the Low Pros, and I ended up choosing the Think Tank. I'm really, really glad I did. If you're going to WPPI, you can actually check um, into them when you're there and play with them and see them and touch them. Super cool. All right, so I'm gonna move over here to Francesca. I have two of my Kelly Moores over here. But actually, before I start talking Kelly Moore, Wee, let me grab my other one. So my first camera bag that I ever bought was this Kelly Moore. And it was actually a gift, so I didn't buy it. But it was from my mother-in-law. This is the Kelly Moore Classic in Cranberry. This is my most, most favorite camera bag to carry when I'm shooting. So there are times that you're just carrying a camera bag to get your gear from one place to another but you're not gonna carry a ton of lenses with you. For instance, if you're just gonna keep your camera on a sling while you shoot, then you don't need to carry a ton of lenses. But this is my favorite while I'm shooting. So this is the one that I carry when I'm shooting weddings. It doesn't hold a ton, but it holds the necessities. And the reason that I don't want it to hold a ton is because it would be insanely heavy if it did. You can see that I have the dividers mess, are kind of messed up right now because when I travel, I take the dividers and flatten them so that I can flatten the bag and it goes in my suitcase. This bag has been with me to like, I don't know, 10 different countries. <laughs> it's been several places with me. It is a workhorse. Um, when we were in Italy, I sprained my ankle and my husband had to carry it. We called it his man purse when we were there. <laughs> So um, it is definitely a workhorse. Love this bag. It's the Kelly Moore Classic. I will also say that Kelly Moore has had the best customer service of any, um, well, next to Think Tank, but they're kind of different. These are shoulder bags and those are more rollies. This by far has the best customer service that I've come in contact with. This bag has been through so much and there's so little signs of wear on here. And this is several years old. Um, the only sign of wear that I have is on the shoulder strap right here. And that's the side is just coming off. Um, but Kelly Moore has been amazing to work with. They're so nice. I actually won a bag from them as well. So they are absolutely wonderful to work with. I love their bags. I don't believe they're real leather. Um, someone can correct me on that and they might be changing that with some different offerings right now. Cause I don't know all of their offerings, but, but this bag has lasted forever. Um, my husband had it as his man purse in Italy. No, not leather. Yeah. So this is not full leather, but man, I really, really love it. It's one of my favorite bags and I love that it sits up straight. So a lot of people ask me about this versus a shoot sack. Shoot sacks don't sit up, which if you need to set your camera down when you're shooting a wedding is a problem. So this sits up straight so you can set your stuff down because, you know, I mean, how many times have you had to fix a bride's train 
or in my case, I'm usually fixing eyelashes. I don't know why, but when I'm fixing eyelashes or fixing trains or fixing whatever, um, I need to set my bag down sometimes. And so that makes it super easy because it stands up and I don't have to worry about lenses falling out. So my next Kelly Moore I got at WPPI last year. The coloring is kind of yellow in this broadcast. It's not this yellow usually. Um, it's a raspberry color. It's the two Sue's. And you can see I still have the plastic on here because I'm that girl that like waits until it falls off. <laughs> so this is the two Sue's. This was my former favorite that I used every day. So when I'm going back and forth from the studio to places that I'm shooting, I usually carry a smaller bag because I only need one or two lenses. And the two Sue's was my favorite for a long time. This is another Kelly Moore. It's a really good size because it's kind of purse-like. It's not super huge. You can tell I've never used the shoulder strap because I always use the standard hand strap. Um, this one has the memory card things on the back. I don't usually use those because I have my own cases that are also think tank cases. But they have memory cards and a place for like credit cards. If you wanted to use it for a purse, you could. And it has the, the pockets in the front. Oh, look, a Lara bar. <laughs> So the two Sue's was my favorite because it's smaller and it's easier to carry around. The next Kelly Moore bag that I have is a Libby. So this is like a big ass travel bag. This is something that you're probably not gonna carry every day, but it fits your laptop. So actually these two do not fit computers. And that's important to say um, because they only fit camera equipment. You could probably throw an iPad in the back here, but I definitely wouldn't try to put a laptop in there. The Libby does hold a laptop. So you can see the top laptop portion right there. And then it holds all of the camera equipment as well. It also has several pockets in the front. And this is a really, really great bag for travel. So I love it. It's a great carry-on bag. It's very purse looking. So it's not something that's going to call, you know, call you out um, and make you a target for any TSA person that's having a bad day. <laughs> but it's a really beautiful bag. It comes in lots of colors. The only thing I don't like is it's kind of big and bulky, but it kind of has to be to hold everything that it holds. Um, so it's definitely not an everyday bag. I wouldn't use it super often, but it's great for travel and it's great for that carry-on uh, purpose that you can put your laptop in there as well as equipment. And I have used this to travel quite a bit. All right, next up, Whee. I grabbed this one just to show you guys cause I like it, but yeah, it's not quite the same. This is my Tamarack. This was my first camera bag ever. Um, I put my Sony in this years and years ago. Um, my husband actually likes to use it because it's the only one of my bags that's not super girly is what he says, but it doesn't hold much. So if you're just starting out, uh, maybe you have a rebel and like one lens then this could work for you. It is rather small, um, but it's pretty functional. Maybe some of the guys like it a little more because I do have a lot of girly bags, but um, it does work. It's just kind of blah, kind of boring. And I like the other ones more. All right, next up is Epiphany. I apologize, I don't remember the name of this bag, but it's their backpack. I originally bought this for travel because I wanted the backpack capability because when your hands are full and you're wandering through the airport, it's a bitch to carry something on your shoulder. So I bought this for travel. And you can see right here, the little hooks. This is where you put the things to make it a backpack. And they're inside here. So they're just straps that go inside to make it a backpack. I don't remember, Kate. I don't remember the name of this. I don't think it's Valencia. Um, it might be older. Yeah, it's a couple years old because I got it before our cruise. So it's a couple years old, but I really wanted the backpack capability. Um, so far, I don't know. It's not my favorite. I wanted it because it also fits a laptop. Yes, Brooklyn. Yep, that's it. I wanted it because it also fits a laptop because I wanted it for travel. But the problem is the laptop has to go in vertically and I don't like 
this huge flap. So if it didn't have the flap and it was easier to access, I would probably like it more. It has a ton of pocket space, which I really love. So it has this huge pocket. It has the front pockets. It has pockets inside. It has all of the different, oops, sorry, all of the different things. And you can tell I keep all my straps together so I can find them easily. So it's full of pockets. It's just really big and bulky and I don't love it. Um, I wish I did. I really do because the next one I love, the next Epiphany. So this Epiphany is the backpack, not a favorite. Probably don't recommend. I'm sure some people love it, but it's just not my favorite. So let me show you my favorite. My camera's actually in there right now because this is what I use the most. This is my new Epiphany. It's the blush. Um, I really, really, really love this bag. You can see the size um, in relation to, yeah, they don't sell the Brooklyn anymore. It probably wasn't super popular for a reason. It's just not my favorite. Um, but this Epiphany, I believe it's called the Florence. I could be wrong. Comes in blush pink. It's gorgeous and it's real leather. So this one is not, and this one is the real leather. Yes, this is Florence, and these are the ones that are $50 off right now, so any Epiphany bags are $50 off. This is the one I use for everyday use. So I put my camera in this regularly to take it back and forth from home to studio. It fits quite a bit. Now, it doesn't fit near as many as some of my others because it is smaller, but it's so... So I love the handles here, and I love that it also has the shoulder strap. When you look inside, so it has this front, sh um, this front zipper pocket, or maybe that's back, <laughs> back zipper pocket. It has the side pocket, which I keep my charger in, because when I'm at home and I need it. It has these little side pockets, which I don't really use, but you could use them for memory cards or things that are flat. Yes, it is smaller than two Sus. I can go grab the other one and show you. Wee. It's not a lot smaller, but you can see the two Sus is a lot taller. So it is a little smaller. Um, right now I have my 50, my Sigma uh, 51.4 Art on my camera. And you can see that, I mean, it takes up quite a bit of room. But when I pull the camera out, um, you can see this is where I put the camera usually. And then in here, they fell out right now and they're over there, but I usually have my rapid strap and my trigger and some other odds and ends in here. And then a memory card case here, which I use the Think Tank ones because I love them. And then you could put another lens here. Um, it depends on the lens. I will tell you, I've had my 135 in here. It gets kind of heavy, but the 70 to 200 does not fit very well. It will fit. It just kind of hangs out a little bit. But with the camera in there, you can't really close it anyway. Um, I would imagine if I put the camera on the other side where the zipper is not, that I might be able to close it better. Oh, the leather's so soft. That's one of my favorite things about this bag is it's so soft. Um, much more than these. So this is the Kelly Moore Two Sues, and this is the Epiphany Brooklyn. The Epiphany Florence is so soft. And um, that's part of what I love about it. When you open it, you can see the suede on the inside. And then the front pocket, batteries, stuff like that. So it does hold quite a bit for everyday use. I wouldn't recommend it if you need to take a ton of lenses with you somewhere. But if you just need one lens, if you want something that looks like a purse, that maybe if you're traveling in a foreign country and you don't want to call attention to the fact that you have a lot of camera gear with you, because um, I've traveled a lot with my cameras and I don't recommend the bags that say Canon on them or Nikon because it kind of makes you a target. So if you want to carry out something that just kind of looks like a purse and is a little more discreet, then this is a really, really, really great option. Sure. So here's the Florence and here's the two Sus. Sorry, I'll turn it for just a sec. So they're kind of similar in width. Um, it's just that the two Sus is a lot larger when you have it on you because it's longer. 
whereas this one's a little shorter. Now, if you're going somewhere though, where you might be um, rained on, then the two suits might work better because everything will zip and cover your gear correctly. So, or I'm sorry, not correctly, but completely. So if you're concerned about rain or snow, the two suits might be a better option just because it closes completely with the camera, whereas this one, there's always a little bit hanging out. But I really, really do love this bag. This is my favorite right now. Um, my Evermore is actually sitting at home waiting for me right now. <laughs> I'm really bummed I have not seen it yet. I was hoping it would be here yesterday, but it arrived today. So I have not had a chance to take a look at it yet. I'm excited to see it. I got the rose gold one and um, I am very excited to see it. From what I understand, it's a lot larger, so it's probably going to be closer to the Libby. But I do really, really like the smaller ones for everyday use. So it really depends on what you're going to use it for. So do you guys have any other questions before I start to clean up? Because uh, the snow is supposed to come and I'd like to make it home before that. <laughs> Let me turn the camera back. There we go. Oh, you can see the new lingerie back there. <laughs> so do you guys have any other questions that I can answer for you? Camera bag, studio, anything? I always feel weird waiting in Periscope because there's like this delay. <laughs> yeah, I have a few too many. But they're all for different purposes. Um, I actually won the Libby in a contest. So you know all those contests that say, um, you know, sign up and tweet or whatever? Uh, enter them. It's worth it. <laughs> so I won the Libby in a contest. And that was exciting. Oh, it's brown. Yeah, color uh, matters to me. I don't care for the, the earthy tones. They're not really my thing. Um, I know there's a lot of people that really love them, though, and there are some beautiful ones. There is a new Epiphany bag that I've had my eye on, but I really don't have a reason to get it. Um, <laughs> it's the Allie Edwards one. So, And I like it because, again, it's purseable. So it kind of looks more like a purse instead of a camera bag because a lot of times I want to take my camera places and I don't necessarily want to call attention to the fact that I have a huge camera. So um, the Ally Edwards one also comes in that blush pink as well. Yeah, the options are limited. Um, email them and they might help. Epiphany's customer service, they're okay. Um, they weren't horrible, but definitely not as good as Kelly Moore Think Tank. They have been the best for sure. And the Evermore bag, I'm really excited to see. So if I have time, I might scope that one, but I'm kind of looking forward to holidays with my family, so I might not. <laughs> Nothing new until January. Well, if you do it before December, it's a write-off. <laughs> Justification. I'm an enabler, it's very bad. Oh, I like red, red is my color. Um, but I am leaning more towards the pinks, as long as they're a nice pink. There have been some pinks that are like bad. I don't really care for the super bright. I like the blush and I like the raspberry. Cool, any questions before I go? All right, well I will be signing off. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving everyone. I hope that you gorge yourself on yummies and turkey and my favorite part is gravy because sauce is my favorite food. And um, just have lots of yummies and then relax and watch football and have cocktails and have a ball. Happy Thanksgiving and I will talk with you all very, very soon.